Hello, welcome to Sound and Fairy Book Reviews. As usual, I am Tina. Today I'm doing a book review of To Spy a Star by Jonathan Nevere. This is a self-published book. It came out earlier this month in December of 2023. Isn't the cover absolutely gorgeous? I absolutely love the colors. That They're so pretty. <laughs> so I received this book from the author in exchange for a fair review. As the sequel to The Spy Fi Stellar Instinct, we get just as much or maybe more intrigue than before. So what is this book about? One star can break a galaxy. Agent Renault plays cloak and dagger against her most formidable opponent yet, a ruthless and cunning expert at cards and more deadly arts besides. Aided by her eccentric agency team and armed with the state-of-the-art gadgets, she crosses the galaxy on a quest to bring down her elusive foe. When a legendary criminal organization rises from the shadows, the game of galactic cat and mouse leans in her adversary's favor. Lillian's secret agent finesse kicks into overdrive as she races to solve a devious conspiracy before a wave of terror crashes across the stars. But a specter haunts the agency's halls, whispering secrets from its past. Allies and enemies alike wear masks in the espionage game. Lillian must decide who to trust if she hopes to take down a sinister and vengeful mastermind before it's too late. Super cool. So like book one, this novel is a complete blast. If you haven't read Stellar Instinct, you totally should because it is a lot of fun. <laughs> I had a lot of fun reading both of them as there's a great balance of spy stuff, including gadgets, intrigue, character development, and world building. There's a lot of fun aliens in this book, my favorite being the translucent skin Gage T, which is a really fun idea, especially given Lillian clearly has the hots for one of them. <laughs> there's also more humanoid aliens and some reptilians, the ones we get are bad guys, and there's like a bug-like dude, it's really fun. The story starts with a fantastic action scene and the adventure continues from there, including stops on an island paradise world, a sort of western saloon world, that scene was hilarious, and a planet that exists within a chaotic nebula. As with most spy stories, we have Lean going undercover in many places, which is a fun element because there's this sci-fi tech that allows her to do stuff easier than she would today, yet the sci-fi aspects aren't too heavy-handed. Like We don't have overly fancy stuff like nanobots or whatever, making everything super simple and thus boring. <laughs> she still ends up having to use her wits and fighting skills to get out of situations. So it's set in the future, the far future, where there is a lot of technology, but it's not like there's so much technology that you can't just be like a regular human doing stuff. So I really liked that kind of balance. I really like Laleen as well. In the last book she was wrestling with her career and her poetry and in this one she's trying to defend her job or at least the principles she believes it stands for. This gave the novel more weight than the previous novel and higher stakes at least personally for her. I thought the main villain was interesting and I enjoyed how her backstory was not entirely explained. As usual Landon, Lillian's boss, keeps things close to his chest. He's still my favorite character. I love him. <laughs> there was a bit more romance in this one too, but it's less spice than a way for Lillian to determine what she really wants for herself. The pair up was kind of inevitable from the start, but in a way that was really fun. You know, he's like a gage T Bond boy. You know, you know that they're going to get together at some point, but do they get together? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Overall, this won't be super long because I would dip into spoilers because there's so many like cool things about the book I love to talk about. But if you enjoy spy stories and sci-fi, you should check out these two books. Nevera does a great job balancing the two genres as I've said like five times so one doesn't cancel out the other. I'm not even super into spy stories but uh, I just I don't know these books are great and I'm, I really hope that never continues with the series because it's really fun. Also as I said before these covers are so pretty. They're so pretty. <laughs> so thank you for watching and yeah.